What is up, you guys? Pete DiCarlo here, and today we're going to be talking about Facebook. So I want to start sharing some of my longer trades here on this channel. I feel that like a lot of people, when they think about traders within the financial markets, they think of people who are sitting there in front of the computer all day, watching each and every single minute tick. And that's really not the truth. Honestly, when I think about long-term investing, I think of about one year or longer. But when I trade, my trading style personally is usually like a one to four month hold, which for some people could be an investment. So it's not like I'm sitting here all day, every day in front of the computer. I really only spend about two hours like trading max within a day. And I want to share with you Facebook, why I entered it, where I see it going within the next couple of months, because this thing is looking very, very good even still. And do I plan to re-enter it? And actually, why did I exit? Because I am very bullish on this. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already check out the discord. It is completely free. The link is in the description. You get access to all of my free long-term investments. You get access to our courses. We have three of them. They're completely free. One is on technical analysis mastery. The second one is an introduction to long-term investing. And the third one in a, is a market disciplined course that even if you're a long-term investor and not a trader is a great course, but specifically for you traders out there, it's just a great course. It's all for free. We have free live streams every single Sunday, and we have a ton of technical analysis bots and unusual options activity bots that that are the premier in their industry. So go and check it out, guys, all completely for free. Now, looking at Facebook, there's a couple of reasons why I took this, and I want to first show you the call out that I did within my private mentorship group. The link is down below. And I said here on 1025, which you can see here, still in my Facebook trade as of right now, at the 200 day SMA, earnings is today going to be volatile, but I think we bounce. Very risky, however. Now, I did enter this before earnings right after this dip that we had where you can see this gap down this gap down here around the 20th and 21st is when we saw snapchat take that massive dump basically lowering their guidance because of privacy policy issues with apple which a lot uh really spooked a lot of investors and traders away from touching these social media networks which i am buying these up a lot right now i do have positions in pinterest facebook and well i don't have facebook anymore I sold it and snapchat so we'll talk about that in another video but I saw this gap down. I saw the time for me to, uh, you know, get into a position right here. We are on this 200 day SMA, which if you guys are not traders, a 200 day SMA is a massive, massive support. And if we zoom out here on a weekly chart, which mind you, this here is not like a one, you know, month chart. Like we're looking at this point right now at about two years worth of data. So when I'm trading, I'm not looking at like one month or so. I'm looking at years worth of data so I can formulate a good entry. And you can see here on this weekly chart, we are bouncing right off of this trend line here, which was a very strong support for the past two or three years, uh, really since the pandemic, I should say. So like 18 months, this was the pandemic pullback. You can see too right now, on the weekly, the RSI is pointing up. The MACD is about to cross. The histogram is making higher highs week by week. The OBV is pointing up, which is nuts because even though we've taken such a good bounce, the the, the volume is still relatively low to where we need it. So you can see too now we are up above the 11 and 22 day EMA and looking at Facebook, I think that probably within the next two months, we should see Facebook back up at $400. I would say probably by earnings Q4, which would be in Q1, January 31st. I think we're going to see this move 16% within the next couple of months. I'm very, very bullish on Facebook here. But why did I sell it? Let's talk about that. So you can see we had this pullback. And you can see as well, we have this inverted head and shoulders pattern. So we have a shoulder forming here, a head forming here, a shoulder forming here. And I saw this rejection start to occur yesterday. And what tends to happen with these head and shoulders, nothing works out perfectly. So, it, you know, retrospectively, this should have just broken out for the next couple of days. That doesn't tend to happen. So what I was expecting is a, a rejection here at 354, which we got yesterday. I sold around 353.50. And I think we will see this pull back down to 336. Now, if I was in front of my trade desk today, I probably would have bought it at 340. But I, if we can pull back to 337, I would like to enter a position on Facebook. Facebook is looking very, very good fundamentally and also from a trading perspective. But one of the reasons I'm not super happy to get into this is because I'm already in Pinterest, which is looking very good as well, and Snapchat. But I'll probably save... Um, I save some videos for those. We'll talk about why I hit Snapchat probably tomorrow. But if you guys are interested in these types of videos, kind of going over why I entered positions, more talking about like my trading, I do um 
every single day I do daily uh, technical analysis on certain stocks that are big in the market. So go and check out the other channel, Traders Helping Traders. But I kind of want to just throw a couple of these in there every now and then just recapping my trades so you guys can get an understanding of why I took that. So I'm trying to figure out where this channel goes, whether we talk about uh, entrepreneurship, business building, uh, psychology of money, which is stuff I love to do. It just doesn't seem like a lot of people are interested in it. Or if we just go fully stock market trading, long-term investing and keep it with that, which I'm also cool with guys. So check out the discord down below. If you want access to every single one of my trades, you can go ahead and upgrade once you're in the discord. It's only 20 bucks a month, guys. You get access to every single one of my trades. We have a 92% success rate. Go check it out guys. Thanks for all the support. Peace.